Experts say shipping delays could make car repairs drag on for months, and Julian Grace has more. We've seen vehicles in need of repairs. It can be a dent, a smash window, or that one missing part. But in some cases, making those repairs could take months because of a combination of manufacturing and shipping delays. Workers at Precision Collision Repair Center in Wake Forest say they let their customers know quickly about potential delays. So we just try to educate the customer up front that, you know, this is what's been going on and this we're dealing with this and we do everything we can. But in the end, our hands are so tied. We called around the triangle and found no auto body shop is immune. We've seen a lot of parts back in order, which with no estimation, estimated delivery time. The staff at Techcraft Auto Body and Collision gave us an example of a delay they've seen recently. Honda Accord, we were trying to get the some um, important parts, safety parts that are connected to um, airbags, uh, sensors, and they were on the back order for almost a year. NC State economist Professor Mike Walden says we could see some relief in supply chains, but it will take some time. Oh, I think it could last at least until mid-year. There, there are some indications things are easing up a little bit, but so that I know we're back to normal. Another item on your grocery list is going to be more expensive. Orange juice sales surged during the pandemic, and now prices are headed higher, too. Citrus disease and less than favorable weather conditions have hurt orange crops over the past few years. The USDA expects Florida to produce nearly 45 million boxes of orange juice in 2022. That would be the smallest harvest the state has produced in nearly 80 years. Still ahead at noon, soup is on the menu today, and it's got a secret ingredient that makes it, well, let's just say super 